The graffiti writers around here range from ages 12 to 32. Um, they usually come from middle class, um, upper class families, uh, mostly males, few females. Um, and they're from every race, every religion. A lot of real big writers now in the subculture have started from around here, Reading, um, Newtown, Danbury, uh, Brookfield. So, and there's a, these are kids that, you know, they do a mural somewhere or they see somebody, hey, yeah, that's so-and-so and that's so-and-so. And a lot of the kids around the world look up to them. Some, some, kids, some kids, their purpose is destruction, damage, getting their names up and letting everybody see it. Um, other kids are more wanting to art, do it artistically, and that's what they want. This is art to them. And so there's two different breeds. And I, I know right now in the subculture, the guys that are doing the art are getting really upset with the guys that are doing the destruction, the bombing, they call it. Um, you know, taking, um, you know, acid-based um, solvents and putting in shoe polish bottles and burning it in their, in people's glass windows and stuff. I mean, that to them, these artists here, they, it, it gets them upset. Um, and they're getting a bad name. Is I'll come out and document. Um, take a picture of it and then find out from the state how much it costs. This right here costs probably, um, I want, they want to say $3 a square foot. So you, then you generate that. Now you go around and you, you keep documenting their same tag. Uh, for example, um, there was a tag by the name of, um, what was his name, uh, Beat. And he went all over the place and painted. And I just kept documenting. He was up to, I'd say, about $5,000 worth of damage. So once he was arrested, once I identified him, and uh, we searched his home and had all kinds of pictures and everything else. He, he, he gets fines for it. Um, then what happened, they'll come, they're done uh, with community service. Now the city said, you know, we got to clean this up. A lot of people were frustrated, didn't want to clean up and say, I, I'm, I'm, that's it, I'm not doing it anymore. So we had the kids, we got out there, we got a lot of paint and stuff, solvents uh, donated to, um, from Home Depot. We got the kids out here and I monitored them, they cleaned all the graffiti up around town. And that, I think, was more, they, they really got upset at first, but it was funny, when, when some of these walls would get painted again after they'd painted, they'd get upset. And they'd tell me who it was, you know, because they just, you know, they, they cleaned the wall and they wanted it clean. And I told them, hey, now you know what property owners feel. You know, you know the kids come down here now and do their artistic work. Am I going to bother? Probably not. And I'm trying to right now to com educate the community that there is an art aspect. And, I, and, and people are starting to open up. And it was not